Hey, welcome back. One Twitch is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another Batman video. And today, we're going to be checking out the reissue, re-release of the NECA Toys quarter scale, straight from Tim Burton's 89 classic, Batman. And of course, the box is quite cool looking. It mine's a little roughed up, but we're going to be opening it anyways. It just mimics Batman's costume with lots of nice photos every which way on the sides and on the back side Batman standing triumphant here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure so thank you very much for that and here's the barcode as well so this is going to be an absolute blast sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the reissue re-release of the NECA toys quarter scale Batman from Tim Burton's Batman 89. And while I got all you Gothamites here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. And just as a bit of a heads up, I'm going to have to shoot this a, a little bit differently. This figure is massive. It's a humongous figure. Does it look great? Heck yeah, it does. That's Michael Keaton right there. Does he display well? Heck yeah, he does. Is he clumsy and kind of awkward in some situations when you want to pose him? Oh, heck yeah, he is. He's a bit of a cluster here and there, I'm going to be honest with you. Some of the joints are very tight. Others can be loose in some instances. But does it look like it walked right out of the movie? Yeah. So in that sense, NECA really nailed it. But I have some wonkiness to talk about here and there. But let's go ahead and kick it off with the accessories, which he does come with a number of. First and foremost, he has this grapple attachment, which looks nice. It's when he throws it out and he and Vicky Vale are about to fall to their death and it catches them just in time. Some of these prongs right here definitely make me nervous. Some of them are curved in. This one seems to be pretty straight. This one kind of moves a little bit. <laughs> You know what I mean? So just be careful with it. On the base side right here, if you notice, there's a little hole right there, right? And that's where this Batman rope line, fishing line comes in. You can see this little black piece. And it's meant to hook into this and the battering as well. So you kind of get a little bit of a grapnel situation. And speaking of, he does have his grapnel gun. Beautifully recreated. That is fantastic. I love what they did here. It's got the gold paint for the little arrow tip dart right there. This folds out. So you have the, the gun part, right, for him to hold it. Now, apparently, in the prior release version, you are able to take this part off. And I have been trying to take this off for quite some time. But if you kind of look towards this area right here, mine's glued in. So it's definitely not going anywhere, which kind of defeats the purpose when you want to go ahead and put it on his belt properly, which is this attachment piece right here. If you remember in the movie, he goes to go for it, it kind of slides around in his belt, and then you're able to piece it together, and he makes his grapnel gun, which the top parts for this figure would fit there, and then you would have the bottom part of the gun, which does slip in nicely just like that, and then you attach it to his belt. Is this the most awkward piece? Yes, especially since you can't really properly use it, which is a huge bummer, you know what I mean? This accessory right here is very cool, very special, and it's awesome. And you're probably thinking, well, what the heck is this? Well, if you've seen Batman 89, of course, it folds out into this awesome looking Batarang. And again, much like all the other accessories, beautifully recreated. It has little silver tips to the wings right there. That's awesome. And you could take that fishing line, grapnel line, and slip it in there as well. And that way, you have a battering on a line. Now, for this video, I'm going to tell you, you can use a piece of string. You can use that. You can do whatever you want. But, uh, yeah, it's very simplistic, as are these right here. Now, these are big metal rods, right, with a hand grip. And these will actually slip into his cape so that... You can recreate that big unfolding, right? You get two of those for him to hold. You get a pair of punching hands. And for me, it's really interesting to see these hands up close now after watching the movie as a kid growing up with it and then seeing all the different details 
You also get two Batarang holding hands, and as you'll soon see, you have a Grapnel holding hand for this Batman. This Batman is awesome. It's cool. Like I said, it's fantastic. He's got this awesome, huge, heavy cape. It looks like a big old leather cape, which is beautifully recreated, right? Nice and heavy, very sturdy, very well done. On the underside, you can see it slips over his shoulders so that you can maintain the articulation. It doesn't hinder it whatsoever. You have the grapnel hand on one side, and you can have the batarang holding hand on the other, or the fishing line, whatever you want to do with it. When it comes to the belt, like I said, that could be kind of awkward, kind of clumsy. Does it fit perfectly? No. You're honestly going to have to heat it up. Either you heat up the belts or you heat up the grapnel piece to really get it on there and stay. He does hold the grapnel beautifully, though. That's where that hand really comes into play. And really one of my favorite poses for him to be in. Likewise, with holding the Batarang. I think that that just looks stellar. When posing him, go very easy. You may want to heat this up in some aspects, especially my arms. It can be kind of stiff. Now, when it comes to the cape, big, heavy, huge cape, right? Looks great. You can simply just do this, right? Easy peasy, just have his arms out. That's what the cape is folded over. So no problems whatsoever. However, if you want to get fancy, if you notice on the cape, there are these minute little holes right here. And you probably won't see them unless you're really looking hard, right? But they're on both sides of the cape. And that's where the metal rods will then slip into the cape. And in all honesty, this is a figure it's going to take a little bit of time to figure out and fidget with. But once you get it going, once you get those metal rods in his hands, get them slipped through the cape, hot day. That makes for a great display, like I said. So... There are a lot of great things for this figure, but yet there's a lot of wonkiness for this quarter scale Batman. But really where there's a lot of fun to be had with this giant massive Batman is seeing this one displayed with perhaps some other older Batman figures in your collection, like the Batman 89, right? With the grapnel belts, that was always pretty cool. Or even to go with your Batman Returns, squeeze the legs and... His arms fly out with those capes. Those capes were always great, and NECA Toys has really captured that with this one. Now, to really ramp up the size, to go a little Batman versus Aliens here, right? A little call back to the comics. I do have a quarter scale alien. This is the prototype suit that they did, and that always looks cool. That's really how I have these displayed on my shelf. So that will do it for my look at the relatively newish re-release reissue of the NECA Toys Batman 89 quarter scale figure. And I gotta say, it's awesome just as a display piece. Go very easy with this figure. There's issues with the accessories, especially the grapnel and the piece that attaches to his belt. They have beautifully recreated his boots. I think they did a great job there. He's got articulation in the knees, the boots, the wrists, the hands, the gloves. There's plenty of articulation, of course. But like I said, just go really easy with this figure. Don't go too crazy, and I think you'll have a great time with it. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Batman 89. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, you want to get nuts? We'll get nuts with this figure. That's really all I got for this one. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.